Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is Nathan Daly. I am your law enforcement translator, you guys. Some are calling me TLO. I love the name, the lead officer. It has a good ring to it, right? Hey, you guys, listen. For those who are new to the channel, welcome. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Make yourself at home. We are a group of critical thinkers, you guys, and we like to dive deep into subject matters and we share them freely and openly. We don't censor over here. We let YouTube do that piece, you guys. We are about freedom of thought and expression, as long as it's respectable, you guys. So listen, to all my subscribers, thank you guys so much. We are climbing, our numbers are getting out there. Our goal is to 10,000, you guys, we're at 6,000 now, so I'm really, really excited, and I'm also very grateful to my new subscribers. Make yourself at home, you guys. Listen, what are we talking about today? So this morning I woke up, and uh, I saw a news article with Tisha Campbell on it. You guys know Tisha Campbell. Well, she's from... Uh, Martin, the sitcom, that show is amazing. I grew up on that show, one of my top shows, along with Fresh Prince, you guys. But anyways, so Tisha Campbell, she makes a video, she posts it. She said that she was almost a victim of sex trafficking, right? So she's in Texas, kind of south towards Mexico, and she says that uh, a van pulled up and tried to uh, coerce her to get into the car. So I'm going to play the clip real quick, and then, you know, let's discuss it, right? Don't freak out, but I think I almost got snatched up. So they don't have Ubers where I'm, I'm filming and I had to call a taxi. So I get this number, but the, the, the truck that, that the van that pulls up is real sketchy looking, but there's a guy in the back seat, right? So when he jumps out, the guy is just standing there. I thought he was getting dropped off, but he's just standing there. He goes, get in. And I go, what? He goes, get in. And I go, no. And then I look at the car, look inside the car, it's fucked up. The rubber is pulled up from the bottom. There's dirt everywhere. The, the back seat looked like it's snatched out and snatched out for a fucking reason. And so the guy in the front seat, the, the driver goes, get in the car. And I go, well, I'm not getting in the car. And the guy in the back is like kind of mushing his body towards me to get in the car. And the guy says, well, then get in the front seat then. And I said, I'm not getting in that fucking car. Fuck y'all. Fuck out of here, right? I asked the lady at the front desk. I said, yo, who's the guy that gave me this number? And she was like, why would he give you this number? Yo, this trafficking shit is real, but they got me fucked up. They got me fucked up. Now, Tisha. <laughs> Almost called her Gina. Now listen, Gina, Gina, Gina. Okay, listen, I'm not saying, right? I'm not saying that something didn't happen. I'm not saying that she's not being honest. I'm sure something happened. Uh, but sex trafficking, you know, human trafficking, you guys, that's a real, real thing. And it's not to say that she, it's not to say that it couldn't happen, right? But you know, you know, you know, Tisha, you a little, you up there. Sister, you about, how old is Tisha Campbell? She got to be like 55. She still looks good for her age, bless her heart, but she look about 55. Tisha, they don't want you. All right, they don't want you. But you don't know, all jokes aside, you guys, you know, I'm very well studied when it comes to human trafficking, you guys. You know, I'm in here in Atlanta, and there's been some cases, plenty of cases. I've seen some cases and had an opportunity to work with some people who had cases with human trafficking, some just suspicious behavior overall. You guys, I take it very seriously. All jokes aside, you guys, all ages have the potential to be victims of human trafficking, you guys, because what is human trafficking? You'd be surprised. I talk to people about the subject often, and a lot of times people don't really know what it is. They assume that all human trafficking is sex-related, and it actually isn't. A big portion of it is actually uh, labor-related, you guys. They often say that it's actually the new form of slavery or the fact that slavery never really ended. Right, so what is the definition of human trafficking? Let's go over real quick, because I want to be clear on this so that everybody has a clear understanding. So for the most part, human trafficking is the illegal trade in human beings through recruitment or abduction means of force, fraud, coercion, for the purpose of forced labor, debt bondage, or sexual exploitation. So this is the thing, you guys. And so real quick, I think this is a great thing that she's doing. She's speaking about human trafficking, sex trafficking, and I think it's very, very important in this time to constantly, constantly remind people that this is an active threat, you guys. I always say this, you know, sometimes we step outside and everything seems to be very peaceful, right, and very tranquil, but you guys, listen, I'm here to tell you that it's not all peaches and cream. Why do I say that? Because even in society, there's an underbelly to it, right? There's things that go on underneath us where people criminals are operating within the shadows. Their job, their goal is to create havoc, 
to cause confusion, to bring pain, to bring suffering, to make us into victims, you guys. I'm telling you, they live for this. Why is that? Because it's profitable. You guys, it's profitable. Outside of sex trafficking, human trafficking in general, the umbrella of it, it's about labor. It's about free labor. And that other portion of it where women and children are disproportionately affected, I would say approximately by 70%, according to ILO, which is the International Labor Organization. They run these numbers, you guys. What else do they say? Let's talk about the statistics. Because honestly, I'm happy that she actually brought this up. I think it's something that we always need to keep on the forefront of our mind and be mindful. So I'm going to pull some data on this, you guys. And this is coming from safehorizon.org. If you're not familiar with that, I will put the description of these sources in the video so you can look them up when you have some free time, you guys. I, in the beginning, didn't know a lot about uh, human trafficking until I worked the case and I familiarized myself a little bit more. These organizations that I will be listing will also be very informative for you as well. All right, so let's check out the data. What does it say about human trafficking worldwide? What's the percentages, right? So according to the National Human Trafficking Statistics, 24.9 million people are victims of forced labor. This is according to ILO 2017. 16 million people are trafficked for forced labor and the private economy. And so again, again, these are individual groups, these are companies, these are private companies um, that are snatching people up and making them work for free. You guys, free labor, and we know how that turned out in this country, right? So free labor is very profitable and it's still practiced, obviously, to this day, you guys. So what's the other statistic that's very important? We're gonna talk about the sex labor because that is equally just as important. And we know that, again, women and children are disproportionately affected by that. Then we're gonna look at the age group, the most likely. So what does ILO say about sex labor? Let's dive into their stats. These, I believe, are coming from 2017, but I'm sure, like all things, the number probably hasn't changed too much over the years. So, so according to them, 4.8 million people are trafficked for forced sexual exploitation. ILO also points out the revenue, the illegal revenue that's generated from this human trafficking, from the labor perspective. So from the labor perspective, they're bringing in over $150 billion a year, you guys, from these deplorable tactics that they use. It's shameful, it's disgraceful, and it's really unfortunate. And again, the tragedy is that they're using humans as commodity, right? Again, we understand how that works, and we've seen it all before. So what about the sex trafficking piece? You know, this is also important, right? What does ILO say? What do they say about the sex trafficking data? Let's talk about that. According to ILO, 3.8 million adults are trafficked and forced for sexual exploitation and one point, uh, about 1.0 million children are trafficked for commercial sexual exploitation. This data is from 2017. You guys, listen, this is a big deal. So I'm going to talk about what's happening here in this country, the data and the statistics for this country, guys. Those were global. So again, I, I really appreciate Tisha bringing this up because it was something I wanted to talk about on this channel, but just kind of unfortunately, I always have to wait to piggyback on the storm. So another part of this conversation we need to discuss is the age, right? I'm going to pull up a bar chart. Let's look at what are the age groups that are the most vulnerable for human trafficking. And again, you guys, it's affected, everybody's affected by this, but there are some specific spikes. I'm gonna pull up this graph, and this particular graph, again, you guys, I will have all of this information uh, in the description section. So let's look at this chart right here. One thing that we will need to look at is from zero to one, age zero to one. This is a little spike, and from what I understand, this spike is due to um, children that are actually born into, into human trafficking, or they were taken and they uh, were used for whatever nefarious purposes. Um, and then the bulk of, or the highest part, as you see in the chart, is from the ages of, of 16 and 30. So that right there pretty much shows like what the, the bulk of the age groups that are actually being uh, taken the most based off of the research that they did. And lastly, let's look at this country just in general as far as numbers, you guys. Also, if you know someone or you have a suspicion 
of something, guys, you can report it. They have hotlines for that. They have the human trafficking hotline that you can call. I will put the number up so you guys can write it down or always come back to look at it. You guys, listen, take the time to look over this information. You just never know, and it's always good to be informed and prepared to know that you have resources. They have resources and options out there. You guys, listen, I don't work for any of these organizations. These are just tools that I've used in the past. I felt like it was a great opportunity to talk about it since it was brought up. So thank you again, Tisha Campbell. So you guys, lastly, I wanna go over the data specifically impacting the United States so that we all know and are well informed. I will have the resources again in the description section. I'm gonna pull up what we call a heat map. It will show us exactly where some of the most vulnerable places where children and women or people in general have been taken forcefully, right? So make sure you look at that, become more informed. And again, I'm gonna pull some data right here from the Polaris Project. Again, they are a really great, very well-informed organization. So in this data is coming from the Polaris Project. Let's pull it up and let's see what they have to say in reference to 2020 statistics. So in 2020, 10,583 situations of human trafficking was reported. And according to the United States National Human Trafficking Hotline, they were able to identify 16,000 658 victims you guys that's a lot and again when you look at the heat map it'll definitely show you where the areas of interest are and areas that need to be looked at and monitored more closely and again I will have the hotline up if you break down these numbers I'm gonna pull up another data set if you break down these numbers it'll tell you exactly how much was for labor and then also how much for sexual exploitation so let's look at the data see what it says okay and according to Polaris it is saying the situations trafficking identified, victims of trafficking identified. Right here for sex, you have 10,836. For labor, you have 3,583. For sex and labor, 631. And then of course, those not specified, 1634. The highest, the top types of labor when it comes to human trafficking is gonna be escort services, pornography, illicit message, messages, health and beauty, and then residential-based commercial sex, personal sex, servitude, you guys. Listen, I will have this information uh, in there for you to go through it, but I thought it was very important just to kind of point out, you guys, this is a real problem. And again, sometimes we move about every day and we never, never really realize that, again, we have people who are lying in wait and looking for the opportunity to take advantage. So again, looking after your own children, helping looking after other children and kind of creating like this village in our communities you guys we live in this country now but times have changed so much right we don't even know our neighbors we don't communicate with people on the block we don't interact with people like we used to you guys we're so disconnected right there are cases you guys that i'm well aware of where people have walked by with kids that don't belong to them in the neighborhood and you have neighbors who don't even know that that child belongs to that adult you know and this is the thing you know so again we have to, we've lost that connection, right? We lost that connection that we used to have uh, in this country. Again, so much has changed. We've become more like individuals to the point where we don't even know the left from the right, <laughs> literally. Anyways, you guys, that's it for this video. Um, I hope you found it informative. And I know kind of Tisha Campbell kind of brought this, this whole thing to life again, but at the same time, you guys, all jokes aside, you know, we don't know what happened in her situation. It could have very much well have been something um, very nefarious and we don't know. I'm glad that she's okay. She went back in and she, um, she was able to kind of report it. So again, you guys, we have to be observant. We have to be mindful. You know, whatever stirred in her that made her uncomfortable, she listened to that, you guys. And I always urge people, listen to that feeling. Don't ignore it, right? It's there for a reason. Your spirit, your conscience, your, your gut feeling, whatever you want to call it is always going to tell you what to do. Do not argue with it, listen to it. Best case scenario, you guys, walk away from the situation, call 911, get help immediately, and make yourself very, very vocal, all right? So again, you guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please share this content, share this information. I think it's important, it's imperative that we never stop having this conversation, you guys. These people out here are very dangerous. They work the black market. You guys will be surprised what goes on underneath there a lot of sick twisted individuals you guys a lot and they are out here and they look just like me and you all right so again you guys i hope you enjoyed it 
Let me know your thoughts. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And with that, you guys, let these truths find you where these lies have left you. I was about to say goodnight, but it's morning time. <laughs> have a blessed day, you guys.